All right, now in order to use Stoius XI, I have to be able to manage my physical host. In order to do that, I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. And what I'm going to do up here in the address bar is, is I'm going to type in the IP address of the remote KVM controller of my physical host, which is 10.1.20.250. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, and right here we're presented with the security certificate problem. I'm going to just click continue to this website. All right, and I have to log in to the remote console in order to be able to manage my server. So I'm going to type in my username, which is ESX100 admin, and my password, and I'm going to hit enter. There you go, we're logged in, and this is my management console. So in order to manage the server, I'm going to go hit console. All right. There you go. So now, uh, if we look down here, we're going to see that active sessions right now says zero. Well, the meaning of this is, is that no one else is connected to this KVM. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect. And there you go. This actually opened up the uh, console of my physical host. And as you can see, there is already VMware ESXi 5.1 installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move my mouse up here, go Tools, and then I'm going to select Power Control. And down here in the list, you can see that we actually have three different options. We can power off the system, we can reset the system, we can power cycle the system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power off the system. Are you sure about that? You know, do you want to power it off? Yes, please. And in a second, we're going to see that the system is powered off. There you go. It says right here, no signal. So the server, the physical host, is actually powered off. The next thing that I'm going to do is, is actually I'm going to power on the system. All right, there you go. You're about to execute a server control action. Yes. Now it's going to power up in a second. There you go. As we can see, that's the initial post screen. And right here, it says F12 for Pixie Boot. So all of our servers um, that we're running inside the practice lab, they're all being installed using Pixie Server. So basically, at this point, you have to hit F12 in order to invoke Pixie Boot. And basically, your ESX host will go out, will search for a Pixie Server, and will try booting up off of that Pixie server. All right, at this point we're actually presented with the ESXi boot manual. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to select ESXi 5.1 and I'm going to hit enter and it says loading ESXi installer. All right, that's, that's actually looking pretty good. It's loading tboot B00 loading. Uh, these are all the modules. Basically, ESXi needs to load all of these modules in order for the installation procedure to start. Initializing scheduler. All right, we see that our installer actually did recognize that we have, we've got two CPUs, two Intel Xeon 5160 at 3 gigahertz and 8 gigs of memory. It's actually loading module E1000. That's the network driver. It's a driver for the network card. Um, all right, and basically uh, we're just going to wait for uh, the first menu to come up and uh, we're going to continue. All right, welcome to ESX 5.1 installer. Um, VMware ESXi 5.1 installs on most systems, but only systems on VMware's compatibility guide are supported. So we've got two options right here. We can escape and cancel the, the process, or we can hit enter and continue. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit enter. Now, end user license agreement. Um, again, we can hit F11 to accept and continue. All right. And now it's scanning for a local hard drive or a LUN attached to our ESXi host. 
and uh, it actually found a hard disk that has uh, eight gigs of capacity, and this is this is going to be this is going to be good enough. We don't need more than that. So I'm just going to hit enter to continue, uh, and um, we're asked to select the the keyboard layout. Um, we can choose between Swedish and Portuguese and and all of these different types of keyboard layouts. I'm just going to select you as default and I'm going to hit enter to continue. Uh, now we're asked for root password. Um, we need to specify a password which is at least seven characters long and um, make sure to take a note of your password because this is the uh, main account password. This is the password that we're going to be using to manage our server. Um, so it's scanning the system. It's trying to figure out whether there are any uh, incompatible devices in um, and if, if the system meets the requirements. So if it doesn't meet, then you're not going to be able to proceed. And at this point, we're actually asked to install ESX 5.1 on that local hard disk. And it says the disk will be repartitioned. That's okay. We're going to hit F11. Installing ESX 5.1, 5%, 8%, 9%, 10, 40. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. We don't have to wait. All right, installation complete. ESX 5.1 has been successfully installed and it will operate in evaluation mode for 60 days. And it says that if we want to actually manage our server, we need to either use vSphere Client or DCIU, the Direct Console User Interface. And we also need to remove the uh, the disk before rebooting the server. And also what it says is that if you hit enter, it's actually going to reboot the server. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit enter and we're actually going to reboot our host. All right, rebooting server. All right, there you go. Our ESXi server is booting up for first time. Everything looks fine. All the modules are being loaded successfully so far. Initializing scheduler, good. It sees the the memory. It says the CPU. Everything looks fine. It's loading the the network driver. Good. All right, ESX 5.1 completely uh, loaded, and it says download tools to manage this host from 192.168.449. That's the dynamically assigned IP address to my host. And now here, uh, if you hit F2, you can actually customize the system settings. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to log in as root and type my password, and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, I was able to log in, and um, from now on, what we're going to do is, is we're going to start configuring our ESXi host, but we're going to do that in the next movie.